UV W map modifier. So a UV map modifier is used to adjust the mapping coordinates onto an object. And sometimes the maps don't get applied correctly to the object. So here I have a, a bump map uh, with my caricature and I have applied it to three different objects. A box, cylinder, and a sphere. And it's not correctly been placed on all three of them. Uh, this one's closed. Maybe you wanted it that way, but um, we'll make an adjustment here. So what this UV map modifier does is it's a modifier that we can place on after the primitive object and we can adjust how the mapping is projected or how it's tiled. So um, let's go and select the box. And in the box, I go over to my modify uh, panel on my command panel. And I go into my drop down menu and I go down and I scroll down and I choose my my UVW map. By default, I have planar on. You know, notice when I have planar on, it puts it as is, it's all one plane all down. Before it mapped it, it put it on the image on all six sides. So planar runs on one surface and it runs all the way through. And so that is the default method. I could switch it to box and it would then go on all sides. Um, if I wouldn't face, it puts it on every face of the object. Christmas wrapping paper type of thing. So I'm going to switch it back to planar here uh, and say, ah, is that what I wanted to look like it, it ran all the way through? So I could have it like that or a box. All right. So I'll go back to planar. And all right. Now I'm going to pick on the cylinder. And I'm going to go up into my modifier. And I'm going to go down to my UVW map. And like I said, it planar is the fault. So I placed it on the top of the cylinder. And it's pushing all the colors all the way through the object. I'm going to switch it to cylindrical. And now it wraps all the way around the object. I could put it on the cap if I wanted to. That's a choice, a yes or no choice. So I'll put it on the cap and say good. All right. Now I'm going to go with the sphere. I'll come over here and I'm going to come down to the UV mapping, the UVW mapping. And now it says planar is the default. I'll go right to spherical and it put it all around the sphere. Now notice I do get to choose how many tiles I have. So I can come along and say I want four in my U and four in my V, right? And the UV, the UVW is the same as X, Y, and Z, all right? So I can say I want four in the Z as well. And I could also flip them around so they flip either direction, okay? So depending on how you want to manipulate this, um, I'll, I'll go back to just one here, one, one, one. But you get a somewhat a beach, non beach ball effect. All right. Now let's go back to this one over here. And in my map, let's go and play with my tiling here. I'll go with four over here. So you can see in the X direction, I got four of these. All right. Maybe a bit much, so we'll go with three. There we go. And now in the V, right it's the x y so the y is the v so i'll say three is again ah do you see what's happening in the planar here it's projecting all those through and so i could change just the two of those and have it project through you can see that when i go to three here in my w it's not really applying any changes to it because um, it's being planar. If it was a box on the other hand, all right, now that's a little bit different. Now I can come in here and put three in here and that can make some difference here. All right, so, um, so uh, these help how much you're tiling it. Uh, you can flip them 
right? I can flip any one of them here, etc. So I can flip those. And I can set the number of tilings. I can set it to uh, what type I want. Um, also, let's come back over here to my sphere. And one of the things that we have here is shrink wrap. And shrink wrap is like it's going to cut the corners um, and merge them all at the poles at a single pole. So not quite maybe what we want there. So uh, this is the UV, UVW mapping modifier. And it keeps our images on our mapping, adjust our mapping coordinates onto our objects. So the UVW map modifier is used to adjust the mapping coordinates of our maps onto our objects.